Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on converting between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we're gonna be going from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit and then from Fahrenheit to Celsius um, to clear some things up and not cause confusion. I'll be using um, a bunch of different markers. So bear with me. Um, when starting off with these problems, um, I like to begin with an equation that I have memorized. So the equation is degrees Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times a degree Celsius plus 32. Okay, so if you remember one and you can't remember how to get the degree Celsius, we're going to solve for that right now. So what you're going to do is subtract 32 from both sides. What well, that's going to do, it's, it's going to 32 minus 32 is 0. So it's going to leave us with degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 equals 1.8 times degrees Celsius. Now, since what we're trying to do is to isolate the degrees Celsius, we're going to be dividing by the 1.8, right? And then we're going to be bringing over the 1.8 here. So that leaves us with degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8 equals degrees Celsius. Now, in order to help differentiate, this is the second formula that we'll be using is the degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8. You can leave it like this. It's just easier for me to see visually this way. So, this is from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then this is the formula that we'll be using from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, so keep this in mind. What we're going to actually start off with is um, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now, what I did is I, um, I like putting up the equations up here. Um, it helps me, you know, keep me in check in case I forgot something. Um, so I put both of them. Now, the question reads, what is 20 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? So what we're looking for is Fahrenheit. What I think to myself is, okay, since we're looking for Fahrenheit, we'll put that first. So degrees Fahrenheit equals the degrees Celsius, like this, times 1.8 plus 32. This is the number we're going to be using. So I'll write it down here again. Um, you know, I like writing and writing it over because it helps me um, with memorizing it and, you know, solving the problem through so I don't forget anything. So degrees Fahrenheit equals. Now, for the degrees Celsius, we're going to plug in just the number. We're not bringing down the degrees Celsius part since we're solving for the degrees Fahrenheit. So, degrees Fahrenheit equals 20, and then 20 times 1.8 plus 32. Degrees Fahrenheit equals 20 times 1.8 is a 36, I believe. And then we're bringing this down, right? Plus 32. So 36 plus 32 is 68. So our final answer would be 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, are you guys with me so far? Now, I like using the um, decimal, but for some people, um, using the fraction is actually easier. So the fraction is degrees Fahrenheit equals the degrees Celsius, similar to this one, times 1.8, which fraction would be 9 over 5 plus 32. So same thing I did with this one. I'm going to write the fraction down here. So degrees Fahrenheit equals degrees Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32. Degrees Fahrenheit equals Celsius, again, we're taking this variable. We're not taking the degrees Celsius down. So we're just taking the 20. 
So I'm going to put this as 20 over 1 since 20 is a whole number. And, you know, multiply it by the 9 over 5 plus 32. So since we are multiplying these two fractions, I'll write it here more clearly. 20 over 1, 9 over 5. The best part about using fractions is that we can simplify it. So 5 and 20 have 5 in common, meaning that 5 divided by 5 is 1, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay? So I'm going to bring down the 32 and then write out the whole equation so I don't forget. Right? So degrees Fahrenheit equals, and just to make it look a little cleaner, 4 over 1 times 9 over 1 plus 32. Degrees Fahrenheit equals 4 times 9 is 36. And since it's over 1, it's going to be a whole number, 36 plus 32. And then 36 plus 32 equals 68 leaving us with the final answer of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Same as this, just different methods, whatever people are more comfortable with. So since we have that one down, we're gonna go to Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit to Celsius. Again, I like keeping the problems on the side. Now, since we are solving for we're looking for the degree Celsius. Again, I like starting off like that. So we're looking for degrees Celsius. So degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8. Okay. Um, so write it here equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8. Remember, it's just the same thing. I just like writing it down here. Um, okay, so the degrees Celsius equals, again, we're only taking the number, we're not taking the Fahrenheit. So we're plugging that number in here. So 104 minus 32, so 104 minus 32, over 1.8. I'm gonna put these in parentheses because this is the first thing we're gonna do. So 104 minus 32 is 72, okay? And 72, we're gonna leave it over 1.8. So 72 divided by 1.8, is actually a whole number. It is 40 degrees, or 40, excuse me. Our final answer will be 40 degrees Celsius. Again, um, for those of you who like using um, the fraction, the fraction for this is actually degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, but instead of dividing, we're going to be multiplying by 5 over 9. So keep in mind that when we're going from Fahrenheit to Celsius, it's 5 over 9, and from Celsius to Fahrenheit is 9 over 5. So just keep that in mind um, in case you do decide to use a fraction, since it can be confusing sometimes. Okay, so degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. So degrees Celsius equals the Fahrenheit. Again, it's the number. So we're going to take 104 minus 32, you know, bring this down again because I like bringing it down, times 5 over 9. Degrees Celsius equals now we know that 104 minus 32 is oh, 72. So 72, since it's a whole number, we're gonna put it over one, right? 72 over one, since we're working with fractions, and then we're multiplying it by five over nine. Again, fractions, the best part about them is you can simplify. So nine, 72 is divisible by nine, and nine is divisible by nine. So 9 divided by 9 is 1, 72 divided by 9 is 8, and that leaves us with degrees Celsius equals, I'm going to write the whole thing out, 8 over 1 times 5 over 1.
which then leaves us with degrees Celsius equals 8 times 5 is 40, and our final answer will be 40 degrees Celsius. Now, see, these are both the same answer, same thing. You can just use a decimal or the fraction. So I hope that this helps you, and remember, if you're ever confused when doing these problems, just try memorizing one, and then you can always solve for the unknown variable by flipping around the equation like we did earlier in the video. Um, so hopefully this helps. Thanks.